Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's June 21st, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste gas and energy. As of June 21st, 2024, Clean Energy Fuels Corps is currently trading at a value of $2.71 per stock. Opal Fuels Incorporated is currently at $4.25 per stock. Ranger Energy Services currently sits at $10.20 per stock. Evergy is currently trading at a value of $52.73 per stock, and Nextera is ending the week at $72.77 per stock. But up first in the news, the EPA just released updated renewable identification number or RIN data this past week, reporting that just over 2 billion RINs were generated under the renewable fuel standard during May. Total RIN generation for the first five months of 2024 has reached 9.97 billion, up from 9.37 billion RINs generated during the same period of 2023. In addition to that, more than 70 million D3 cellulosic biofuel RINs were generated in May, and total D3 RIN generation for the first five months of the year has reached just over 288 million. And up next, Haygaz Biomethane, a portfolio company of funds managed by InfraVia Capital Partner, reached an agreement this past week to purchase the leading Irish biogas and biomethane producer Ormond Organics. Ormond operates two anaerobic digestion plants in the south of Ireland with a current total production capacity of 60 gigawatt hours per year. Hagaz chairman Fernando Sarasola said, quote, Ormond Organics has built state-of-the-art assets which they operate at the highest industry standards. The management team has created a strategic position in a very promising market and I am excited to integrate this company into our platform and to start a new phase of growth with the management team, end quote. And speaking of big things happening in Europe, the European biomethane sector will receive an injection of 25 billion euros in private investments by 2030. This according to a European Biogas Association analysis released earlier this week. This represents a 30% increase compared to last year's estimates. The second edition of the Biomethane Investment Outlook forecasts 2.1 extra billion euro investments in the pipeline, but as yet to be allocated. Investments will be mostly located in Denmark with proposed value of 3.6 billion euros, Poland at 3.4 billion euros, and Italy at 2.4 billion euros. And up next, Clean Energy Fuels Corps may want to be one of those stocks you keep an eye on because the renewable fuel provider just announced a slew of new deals with municipalities across the United States. Chad Lindholm, senior vice president at Clean Energy, said, quote, What we are now observing is that municipalities which are eager to meet their environmental and fiscal goals can do this with renewable natural gas easily, immediately, and cost-effectively. Many cities are now making clean fuel a requirement for their transportation needs because of the local, state, and federal requirements to reduce emissions. RNG is the best solution to meet those needs, end quote. Among the municipalities which just signed new deals with clean energy are Fort Collins, Beverly Hills, California, Arcadia, California, Scottsdale, Arizona, Bakersfield, California, and many more. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or you can set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Based on new legislation, it's possible nearly 130 million Americans will be living in states with a recycling requirement for all household batteries by 2027. 
This demonstrates rapid growth in the battery recycling industry within the next three years and highlights the need for preparation, according to U.S. Census and state data obtained by Call to Recycle. Currently, only Washington, D.C. has implemented such requirements. However, following recently passed legislation in states such as California, Washington, and Illinois, that number is expected to grow by more than 60 million as this legislation takes effect over the next three years. Additionally, due to pending or expected legislation in other states, household battery recycling requirements may expand to an additional 68 million people for a total reach of 129 million Americans by 2027. And up next, it was announced this past week that over a dozen Wisconsin farmers and rural small business owners will receive more than $2 million in grants to make energy efficiency improvements, cut costs, and strengthen the resiliency of their operations. This funding comes through the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Rural Energy for America program, which received a $2 billion boost through the Inflation Reduction Act. U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin said, quote, Wisconsin farmers and small businesses are the backbone of our rural communities, and I'm working to help them cut costs, innovate, and grow for the future. I am proud to bring home this funding that will help made-in Wisconsin businesses reduce their energy costs, create jobs, and improve the efficiency of their operations for years to come. End quote. And up next, Waste Connections and ESI, in collaboration with both Kinder Morgan and BP, have unveiled a new state-of-the-art renewable natural gas processing facility at the Lois Hills Regional Sanitary Landfill in Melvern, Iowa. The plant has already gone through its initial phase of operations, where it was able to process 1,500 standard cubic feet of landfill gas into RNG per minute. Projections indicate a substantial growth trajectory, however, aiming toward increasing production to an ambitious 4,000 standard cubic feet per minute. This peak capacity represents the renewable energy output required to power more than 16,000 homes annually. At maximum capacity, the facility will efficiently mitigate over 22 thousand tons of methane each year, equivalent to offsetting the CO2 emissions for more than 65 million gallons of gasoline consumed annually. And lastly, a new renewable natural gas facility could be on its way soon to the Three Oaks Township in Michigan. The proposed plant would be a joint venture between Arkea Energy and Republic Services, with both companies currently working with local government to address the concerns of its citizens. RK Energy Chief Operating Officer Stephen Bohr said, quote, We want to be partners in this community. We want to be good neighbors. We're here to talk about the issues, mainly around noise, around light, and around pollution. And so we've taken those concerns, we feel we've addressed them appropriately, and we want to hear from the community on how they feel about it. End quote. A special planning commission meeting will be held the following Tuesday at Three Oaks Elementary to discuss the proposed plant. And that has been your June 21st, 2024 Recyclist News Update, a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.